Joining us today for our um, Introducing Acrobat 10 Action session is Tom Parker. Tom's been heavily involved with AUC since inception five years ago, and he blazes trails all over our JavaScript and forms forums. He's also an Acrobat consultant with his company, Winjack Solutions, and he spends a lot of his time there uh, custom scripting solutions for clients and developing online training in Acrobat and PDF scripting topics. So, Tom, over to you. Okay. I jumped the gun a little bit there, but uh, thanks again, Lori, and hello, everybody. As Lori said, we'll be talking about Actions. Now, Actions are a new feature in Acrobat 10 for automating Acrobat, and I want to stress that automating part. In this seminar, we'll start off covering the action basics and then work our way into the nitty-gritty details toward the end. Uh, automating, by the way, just means doing things automatically and instead of manually. So let's take a look at how that works. If you've uh, been using batch processing in previous versions of Acrobat, then actions are going to look very similar. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're very, very similar. So an action uh, is just a sequence of Acrobat commands or Acrobat operations that are grouped together in a package and then applied to one or more PDF files. Uh, conceptually, it's that simple. These operations are exactly the same kinds of things that you would do manually from the tools panel. For example, under the page operations, things like uh, rotating pages or two of the more popular items are uh, adding headers and footers, uh, backgrounds and watermarks to the, uh, to the PDF. So exactly the same kind of things that you'd normally do, only we can do those things as a group in a single kind of macro or action. The actions are activated from one of two locations. On the tools panel, there's an action wizard pane. And the first two items on this pane are for managing the actions. There's create a new action and edit actions. And then following that are a list of the actual actions. Uh, and of course, on the bottom here, there's more actions. So these aren't the only ones you get. There's actually anything that doesn't fit onto this display will show up under more actions. There's only one right now because I don't have many set up. But as you build up your actions palette, you'll have, you'll have more and more stuff. And the most recent action will always go to the top of the list. So the things that you use the most often will be the most available. You notice the one on the top here, do my thing. That's a custom action that I created for myself that does my thing. And so that's what really what we're going to be talking about is creating the actions to do your thing. Now, actions are also available on the file menu. You notice in the file menu, there's an action wizard submenu that has exactly the same items on it that are on the action wizard's tool pane. So they're identical. You can access the actions from either location. And so to, to activate an action, you would simply click on the name of the action that you're interested in. We'll hold up on doing that for right now. And take a look at what are the advantages of actions. So of course, uh, since we're grouping commands together, they save enormous amounts of time. You can quite literally take an operation that uh, might take you, you know, hours sometimes to perform. and compress that down into a single click. Or you know, usually, it's, going to be, it's not going to be that uh, uh, good of a savings. But it's always going to, after you write the action, it's always going to be a time saver. All right. Something that's less obvious is that it reduces training time. So these actions are quite easy to share with other people. So if you're bringing people into an organization uh, that need to perform operations and documents, you don't necessarily need to train them for all the different tools in Acrobat, the menu items, and so forth, the things that they need to do. In fact, you could simply hand them, you could install the action on their machine, and we'll see how easy that is to do later on in the seminar, and say, push this button, and it's all done. So it does reduce training time. And uh, it also reduces human error. So if you've ever done the same thing over and over and over again, uh, Lots of times you find out that you get variations in how you do that. By packaging all of these operations into an action, they're performed exactly the same every time. So reducing human error is actually a, a very big advantage. And 
they're also easy to create. So easy to create, easy to share, which makes them one of the, the uh, it's sort of the entry-level options into Acrobat automation. There are other ways to automate Acrobat, but this is by far the easiest one to do. So let's right, get right into it and create an action. So I'm going to use the file menu, create actions. I'm going to open up the, uh, the pages operations or the, uh, the pages panel so that we can sort of compare the the operations available in the action to what's available on the normal tools. We'll just say create a new action, and this is going to display the actions dialog 